hello welcome to this tutorial i'm Maurice dimba and today i'm going to show you how to apply the staircase trade greeting tool or macro to create trade greetings and tecla structures for your staircase and if this is your first time with tecla structures and uh, today and i'm going to take you briefly on how to create single part drawings just from this model and uh, you'll be able to see that and today i'm going to show you how to apply trade greetings or place your trade greetings on your staircase you can, if you take a look on the screen here you can see our previous uh, work that we did we used a checkered plate on our trades and today we are going to use uh, thread gratings or gratings instead of checker plate now where to uh, I'm, I'm going to show you the, the the best tool to use in creating the trade gratings for for our staircase and where to access them we go straight to applications and component here when you mouse over this the, the last button here you'll be able to read the content inside this button and this is where we get all our macro or where it, this is where we access all the macros that makes our work much simpler now if you click on that you'll be able to access you'll be prompted this uh, section where you'll be able to just uh, feed in whatever you want once as long as it's, it is installed in a tecla structure or it is available within your macro setup now in uh, i mean within tecla structures in this case i'm going to use this tool to create my threads uh, and uh, it also has options of which trade type or uh, uh, which trade style or type I'm, uh, I'm willing to apply for my staircase now i'll double click on this so that we access this uh, dialog box inside here we'll, we'll be able to have all these options so one two three four five all these options now initially we used a uh, checkered plate and today i'm going to show you how we can also apply uh, the trade gratings in, in, instead of the checkered plate now what i'm going to do and uh, and uh, show you how to apply it we'll go straight away and delete all this and we'll also we'll just use the, the same markings for the previous uh, uh, trade uh, checkered uh, checkered plate trades now i'll select that and delete and so also come here and delete all this i delete all this because uh the trade we are going to use for the landing and the the trades and 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 the trades will be uh slightly different from the previous one now i'll go straight and double and click on that then terminate prior to creating or prior to selecting your your main part and the secondary part you need to disable the assembly button here so we come to single part so this will will give you freedom to pick on whichever part you want or whichever component you want so we'll we'll shift from select components button and go straight to select objects in the uh, select objects in the component now i'll click this and i'll be able to now select this and that and like uh, and like initially when i mouse over this everything gets selected because it shows this full assembly so you cannot do any, anything to this unless it's happened to every part of this so we want to work with individual parts first because we want to select this and direct uh, or define the path that our, our trade will stretch to so we'll terminate that assembly button then come to select objects in components button then we'll just do our work now i select on this in, or invoke the command then uh, follow the instruction down here pick the main part this will be our main part in this case so i'll select it then uh, uh, I'll select the secondary part on the other end then i'll define my first uh, position right here and i'll mouse over this uh, spot and stretch all the way to the other end and snap right there this is the, the default setting and this one this is a point we are going to modify and get our trade greetings just from this one now i'll double click on it and remember the moment you double click on it tecla structure will define this as a uh, individual component not as, a, as an assembly so the moment you double click on it you'll find this uh, dialog box coming up it is being defined as individual component so you can uh, uh, manipulate it here but this is not the way you want us to go now we will we'll enable again the assembly here so that when you come back and double click on it we'll be able to get this dialog box where we'll be able to customize how our thread look like 
now i'll bring it close and come to this button here under this drop drop down arrow and click on it and go inside here and pick the option i want to use i'll pick grating then i'll go ahead and click and click modify or in this case I, I had already picked my options here my preset options here i'll pick grating right here and pick on that then i'll click load here and click modify and you can see what we have in the in this case so we have this as our tray uh, as our grating tool in place instead of uh, instead of the previous checkered plate now we can go ahead and just go and do the, uh, follow the same same process that we did so i'll go ahead and pick the uh, the, the, the 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 main part and go to secondary part the main part here is the primary part which is this one now i'll go ahead and uh, define the points where i want my thread to be placed in or on then i'll start i'll snap on that spot go to that spot i'll do the same same thing all the way and snap right here and go all the way to snap right there I'll select on that then select on that the secondary then define the points for my thread I'll do the same thing here and define the, the, the locations where I intend to place my thread all the way to that spot and select on that and select on this then define that point to that point I'm able to see the points through the comp uh, through this member so don't think that I'm I'm, I'm 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 snapping on this member no i'm i'm snapping through this member because i'm i'm able to to view through this model or through through this component now i'm coming to landing here and landing here i'll just double click once again and select the part where i intend to to place my landing so in this case also i have a preset of the landing and i'll show you how to set that i'll pick on this then click loading you see my measurement it's stretched to 10 10 85 or uh, 1.085 meters so that 1.05 meters is from this end to that end uh, from this end to that end so the width of this Will be defined with how i stretch or, or with how i select the the primary and the secondary member so i'll pick this as my as my, as my primary member select on that then go all the way to to that as my secondary member that define the width of my landing now the the length will be you can feed here manually as it is here but yours might vary if we, your staircase will be different with mine now I'll snap on that spot and snap all the way to this end here and place my thread right there though it ha it hasn't picked anything as 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 I did here so what, what I'm going to do I'll, I'm going to bring back that setting and delete this so I'll come here and click load load and the reason why it has picked it's uh, it's because we we went back to our previous uh, default of thread so let's load this or let's double click once again and come and pick it here and load it and click modify apply and accept then come back again and select on it then we go back and select on the primary and the secondary member and define the position the first two positions of our of our landing so this is how it will look and this is what I wanted to show you briefly on how you can change your thread or, or a special tool that can help you have a variety of thread placement on your staircase. And this is how it looks. This looks much better. And this is also what you see here will also be applicable when you generate your drawings and you will be able to see the threads. Now, what you do, should not ever, always forget is to save your work. I'll just show you on the on the, for this first flight so the rest you can do by yourself by yourself because you've seen what I've just done and don't worry about the bottom end here of the, of the landing because this can be rectified and this can be customized to meet your needs you can do this to meet whatever you want or or, or uh, according to your preferred connection or how you want your uh, staircase look like so this is how you apply that now i'm going to show you briefly 
if you're new to this uh, to to this channel or or you are new to tecla structures and would like to see how tecla drawings are being generated i'm going to just pick this part i want to show you briefly how you can quickly generate nice drawings in tecla structures now i'll right click once i've picked this member and i'll, I'll scroll down and pick this po uh, and create drawings and go straight to uh, to single part drawing i'll go ahead and click that option single part and give it some time to generate drawings and you can see at the bottom end here creating drawings finished one drawing created successfully now where do you find that drawing in your tecla structures what you do just come to drawing reports drawing and reports click on that then come to document uh, document manager this is where you find the list of all your drawings you've generated and our drawings just right here it's marked first uh, i mean january 13th 2020 now just double click to open your drawing give it just give it some time then you minimize this and then here is your drawing nicely you don't need to touch this you just need to print it out and submit it for cutting for fabrication workshop it it has been labeled and dimensioned properly so the length of the uh, the length of the beam has been shortened to fit in in this scale it has been shortened to fit inside here also you can manipulate how it looks or you can uh, uh, get rid of that uh, drawing compressing to fit inside your title block if you take a look at the bottom end here you can see the title block in place and uh, i mean the quantities of these are two we have two you can see the two and the total weight is already given there and the length is already here it's, it, it has been given here and we have quantity of two the grade is that the size of the beam is that and the mark is the c6 and and so on this is the best way to do that if you want to generate single drawings without without going all the way to generate every drawing all the drawings that are go that might you might, you might end up getting confused and uh, end up which one to work with now in this case i want just to double click on it and come to come to attributes here let me just drag this aside i'll come to attribute two here and cut parts i don't want to to shorten this i'll i would like to as as it is now it is in this condition where cut parts that yes option has been selected so we want to get rid of this uh, uh, member shortening to fit in inside our title block now i'll come to option no i'll click modify and give it some time apply and accept that you can see it has stretched beyond our title block now this is a full length it hasn't been shortened at all now this does look good and uh, the dimensions of the text looks so small so we just bring it back to where it was so that when you you can so that you can just go straight here and come to printing so once you've done that we'll just click here and you have a preview of this and uh, if you want to convert this to pdf it's very simple you just come to print options here and uh, just a moment to pick the pdf then what we, we are going to do uh, first of all let's just go down here and pick maybe auto or uh, a2 this a2 and that's not the best way or a4 a portrait or a3 portrait that's not nice the color we don't need we just need black and white and what we can do we just go ahead and click print or you can just use you can just to maintain the color then click uh, then maybe then we go ahead and click print then once we've done that you'll be able to you'll be able to see the printout of the pdf format and that's how it looks and that's how it's done so this is how it looks in brief and thanks a lot for watching this video and let's meet again in the next presentation i'm Morris dimba and don't forget to try it once again and this is how tecla work best and how this is and how
and this is how it's easy to use and thanks a lot let's meet then if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then bye bye